Yesterday, we started to get reports that in a clandestine operation, uh, Israel had sabotaged the power plant uh, at Iran's Natanz enrichment facility, uh, resulting in a large explosion there. We're going to have to see whether or not these reports turn out to be correct, but right now I have no reason at all to doubt that they are. This is potentially a serious short-term blow against, against Iran's enrichment facility. Um, this enrichment facility uses centrifuge technology uh, to take the kind of natural uranium you dig out of the ground after chemical processing uh, and enrich it to higher levels so that it could be used as fuel for a nuclear power plant uh, or at even higher levels of enrichment uh, as fuel for a nuclear weapon. Now, an explosion in a power plant at an enrichment facility is potentially very serious. Uh, if centrifuges uh, have their power cut off and they start to slow down uh, in an uncontrolled way, then there could be a lot of damage to those centrifuges. So the task that Iran now faces is not just to rebuild uh, the power plant at the facility, it's also to manufacture and install a large number of centrifuges. That's going to take time, a number of months perhaps. But Iran uh, will be able to recover the damage that's been done in this attack. And moreover, this attack risks enhancing uh, Iran's resolve to continue enriching. Now, presumably, the reason why this attack was conducted was to derail the ongoing negotiations uh, in which Iran and the United States are trying to find a way back into the Iran nuclear deal. Um, whether the attack will succeed in derailing those negotiations is something that only time is going to tell us.